Five years in the club, two years as a DTM. Just to set the record straight. How many of you would give up four hours of your time to save the life of a loved one, or a friend, or a stranger? Could you each raise your hand? <laughs> Terrific. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to give you the roadmap on how to do that. Wonderful. The cancer prevention study number three is our topic for today. I'm going to share with you a little bit about its purpose, how you can help, a bit of background, and then of course a call to action. First and foremost, I want to give you a statistic. One out of five women will have cancer. One out of four men will have cancer. Most of you will experience a fatality in your family as a result of death, as a result of cancer. So I encourage you to take it personal because it is personal. Cross state represents 16% of all male cancers, or deaths, I should say, in can due to cancer, and 12% of females die from breast cancer. So we've all heard about it, we've all heard some of it, and I'm going to give you a roadmap. This study is something that I'd like to encourage you to participate in. Again, the purpose of this study, let me share with you that because it's called CTS3, that meant there was a one and a two. And the one and a two concentrated on the effects of smoking and cancer, the tie-in. You can see from this famous quotation that everybody knows that smoking causes lung cancer, but it really took 22,000 volunteers to get that message across in two studies to communicate that further. Why do we need CPS3? Well, first of all, we've got some changing demographics. We've got some changing proposition. We want to do things a little differently than we've done it before. We want to try to segment the study in such a way that we get the right composition, both from a geographical as well as from a male-female, as well as from the different ethnic ethnicities associated with cancer. That's the purpose of this particular study and you, too, can make a difference, as I've mentioned. Oops, why did that go backwards? It's not supposed to go backwards. Let's see. So, again, what makes CPS different from the others? We're going to have a high proportion of young adults, we hope. 60% of the demographics going to be in the 30 to 49 age group. We're going to start out by drawing blood. That's the reason that four hours is going to be part of your uh, commitment should you agree to participate. That four hour commitment is a one time commitment. And let me just mention that right up front. It's so that they can gather the data. That's what's going on in that one in that four hour commitment. And then periodically you'll get a questionnaire every couple of years that will just you'll just update electronically or by mail very simple the physical assessment of course we'll do a little measurement of your waist to make sure that we understand what we're starting with and of course we've got the technologies now that we didn't have before so we'll leverage those technologies as well the goals very very simple again we'd like to have three thousand three hundred thousand men and women participate in this study, we want to have 25% of them be of a minority status. I mentioned the geographic diversity that we're looking for. And to be specific, within Monterey County, we want to have 500 participants. Right now we have about 125, so you can make a significant difference. And then, of course, we'll do the blood uh, work uh, to uh, help, and sorry, with that. Uh, let me just get my virtual phone off of the screen here. If you want to call me, you're welcome to try. 
Uh, so, I'm sorry. Uh, let me back up now. Well, enough of the slides. The point of those two slides that, it, that we quickly went by is that um, the call to action slide is at the end, but what I wanted to show you on the earlier slide was the actual <coughs> meeting times that you could participate in. There are five different dates available to you. They're all within four hours. The dates available to you are on September 7th, the 12th, the 14th, the 17th, or the 19th. All dates are in September. The times are available in a handout, which I'll ask you to pick up on your way out if you wish to get more information on this topic. The purpose of this study, again, to understand the root cause of cancer, to share with you the results of that study, and then, of course, to reduce the frequency. We've seen a number of things take place in our lives, all of us have. I personally have seen four of my close loved ones pass from cancer. And to this day, I, I uh, choke up just a little bit when I think about it. And I, it's because the shame of it is that these, at least three of the individuals were extremely young. And you and all of us don't need to experience that. So if you participate, come out, join this study, give that four hours of your time. I promise you it will be the most fulfilling and the most rewarding achievement in your life because at the end of those 10 or 20 or 30 year study, you'll be able to say that you saved 20,000 or 30,000 or 50,000 lives. So join me in this effort and join me in participating in CPS3. Thank you. Mm -hmm.